All right, well, welcome to the second part of this activity. So in the first part of the activity, we looked at just finding all of these angle measurements in degrees. But remember, we've also talked about uh, radians in this chapter. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look to see what all of these measurements would be in radians. Now for this part of it, you're not going to be able to follow along as far as doing what I'm going to do next. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bunch of these triangles to show you how we could break this up um, into individual slices. So hold on one second. Let me get set that set up for you. All right, so here we go. So I've got this set up. So now what we've learned about already is that we know all the way around the unit circle in radians would be 2 pi radians. And halfway around the unit circle would be pi radians. So what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on pi right now, so half the unit circle. And so I have that broken up. And if you notice, these are our special right triangle, our 30, 60, 90 triangle, with our smaller angles down here around the center. So those are our 30 degree angles. So let's count up how many of those we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically, using the 30 degrees, we can break this up into six equal parts. So each of these represent one sixth of pi. So let me show you how we would use that. So this over here, this first slice, so this is one sixth pi. So I'm gonna write that as pi over six. So that's pi over six radians or one sixth pi. So going up here to the next spot, that would be our second sixth. So this would be 2 pi over 6. Now, I don't want to write down 2 pi over 6. I would reduce that. And if you need help, we could write this down. So 2 pi over 6. If I reduce that, hopefully you recognize that 2 6 reduces to 1 third. So that would reduce to pi over 3. So this spot over here, that represents the second sixth. That reduces to pi over 3. And then remember, we even talked about this before in our notes, that uh, one-fourth of a revolution was pi over 2 radians. Or we can think of this as this was our first sixth, our second sixth. This would be our third sixth, and 3 sixths reduces to 1 half. So this would be our fourth 6. So 4 pi over 6. I can reduce that because 2 goes into both of those. So that reduces to 2 pi over 3. So this would be 2 pi over 3 radians. So let's continue on. So that was, remember, our fourth 6. So this would be our fifth one. So this would be 5 pi over 6. That doesn't reduce, so that's nice. So that's just 5 pi over 6 radians. And then 6 pi over 6 would just be pi. Now let's continue on beyond pi. So this would be, our, this one over here would be our 7th 6. So this would be 7 pi over 6. Let's go back to, oops, I forgot. Let me zoom out here. So some of that I guess you couldn't see. All right. So now let's go down to uh, this one over here. This would be our 8th 6. Okay. So that I want to reduce. So let me just start a new post-it. So our 8, 8, 6, 8 pi over 6 reduces, because 2 goes into both of those. So that reduces to 4 pi over 3. So this would be 4 pi over 3 radians. OK, so that was our 8, 6. So this would be 9. This would be our ninth sixth we're breaking up this bottom part into sixth as well. So this would be our ninth six. So nine pi over six. Well, three goes into both of those, so that reduces to three pi over two. So that would be three halves pi, or three pi over two radians. All right, so that was our ninth sixth. So going over here now, we would have our tenth one. So this would be 10 pi over six. So 10 pi over 6, if you reduce that, 2 goes into both of those, so that reduces to 5 pi over 3 radians. So this would be 5 thirds pi or 5 pi over 3. So continuing on. So again, this was our 10th 6. Now we're up to this one. This would be our 11th one. So this 11 6 doesn't reduce, so that would be 11 pi over 6. 
And then 12 sixths would reduce to 2 pi. So that brings us all the way around full circle is back at 2 pi radians. All right, so now we've got the outside, or those, I should say, these broken up into sixth. But now we have these that were the, represented by the orange lines uh, that we have to fill in yet. So let me pause this video and get this set up with our next set of triangles. All right, so if you look at, my, look at my setup now, so now we're using the 45, 45, 90 triangles. And so with those, we can break pi up into one, two, three, four equal parts. So each of these parts represent a fourth of pi. So this one would be one fourth pi, so that would be pi over four. Continuing on, two fourths pi, well think about it, two fourths reduces to one half, so pi over two, we already have that one. And so this would be our third one, 3 fourths pi. That can't reduce. So that's just 3 pi over 4. And then 4 fourths pi brings us back to what we already had here of pi. So if I continue on with my other quadrants, so this would be my fifth one. So this would be 5 pi over 4. 6 pi over 4 reduces to 3 halves, which we already have. And then this would be our... Seventh one, so this would be 7 pi over 4. And then lastly, this brings us back around. 8 pi over 4 reduces to 2 pi. So now we have this all filled in with our radian measures. So how does that help us? Just like when we we're dealing with degrees in the end of the last video, if I wanted to find, if I was asked to find what's the uh, cosine of pi over 3 radians. So pi over 3, in my head, I'm thinking, okay, I could break. So if we look at these green lines, this represents 1 third, 2 thirds, and then 3 thirds. So we could look at this as being 3 equal pi slices. So if I'm asked to find the cosine of pi over 3, I'm thinking, okay, that's 1 third of pi. So that's going to be way up here because a sixth would be a smaller slice. So a third is a larger slice. So I'm thinking, okay, cosine of pi over three, cosine is the x value, so that's my short distance. So my short distance, remember, is one half. So cosine of pi over three would be one half. Or if I was asked to find the sine of, uh, let's do sine of seven pi over six. Okay, so the sine of 7 pi over 6. So I'm thinking, okay, in 6th, that's a smaller slice, and 7 pi over 6 is more than one full pi. So 7, 6 pi would be a small slice past pi. Okay, so that's going to bring me over here. So being that it's a small slice, again, I'm trying, to find, I'm trying to find the sine of 7 pi over 6. So the cosine would be the horizontal. The sine would be my vertical distance. So the vertical distance there is a short distance, and it's down here in quadrant 3, and it's, so I'm going downward, so it's going to be negative. So that would be negative 1 half. So in your assignment now, you're going to be working on finding out the sine and cosine of a lot of the, these different values. So... Good luck now as you make these connections with what we just learned in this activity and the unit circle.